All right, today I'm going to do a really quick video and uh, take you through the steps to update the TBS multi protocol module. Uh, most of the videos online talk about using the radio to do the update. However, the Tango 2 with Freedom TX does not uh, do that. So uh, most of the videos I found didn't uh, solve the problem. And today I'm going to do a quick video showing you where to get the software, how to download it and how to update the multi-protocol module. All right, so I'm gonna go through how to download the firmware, get the application you need to use to update the TBS micro protocol module, and then go through how to flash it. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to this website um, on the multi-protocol module uh, org website, and I will have the link in the description below. And you want to go down and select uh, the module. So you're going to pick TBS uh, multi-protocol module. And it's going to come up with the latest stable re release. It has this all propagated. And then I set my channel order to AETR, which is what my uh, Tango 2 uh, sends out with Crossfire as a standard. And then I'm going to find it down here. And I'm going to download it and it's going to download there so we're going to need that later next you're going to want to go to this page which is the uh, inside the multimodule.org uh, it's going to be update methods and the TBS uh, multi protocol module cannot get updated through the Tango 2 radio so you need to use this and connect to it directly so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here. First is updating from the radio, which does not work from the Tango 2. The next section is through OpenTX. Uh, the Tango 2 is not running OpenTX. It's running uh, FreedomTX currently as of this video. So that won't work. Um, and then we're going to go down to Flash Multi. And this is the application that we're going to use. So we're going to scroll down here and we are going to get this software uh, and here's the link here it's going to open up a window you're going to go down to the bottom and we want to get the most recent uh, so download and install and then go latest releases and you're going to get to version uh, 0 0.6.1 and you're going to download this, the Flash Multi Zip for Windows users. It's going to download. And you're going to just extract that. We'll just extract it to my desktop. under multi-protocol firmware a folder I have there and I already have it so I would say yes uh, I'm gonna cancel this and we're gonna go to the software okay so we're gonna go into that folder and you're gonna open up the program after you unzip it and you're gonna open up flash multi version 0.6.1 then you're going to browse to the downloads folder where I have my uh, file open that file and we are going to plug in the USB C directly into the multi protocol module from TBS uh, and all right so at this point you need to plug in your multi protocol module you can see I don't have to have the radio turned on and I'm just going to plug in the USB-C that's connected to the computer and then the software will recognize it and I believe I'm on COM3 and then I'm going to I'm going to write the module so I'm going to start and write this to the software I'm 
is going to continue on for a short bit. And then once we're done, we're just going to read the module to make sure that it finished. So written successfully. Uh, if we read the module, and read successful, AETR, the firmware, and you're done. All right, that's how to update the TBS multi-protocol module. I hope this helps some people who have tried to do it through the radios and not able to get that accomplished. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Happy flying.